everyone, it's Sammy from Scrapmasters Paradise, and today I am working on my stamp inventory again. I have made some great progress. I've got a couple of things that I've streamlined, and I am, I would like to say, about halfway or two-thirds of the way done actually getting the stamps in the stamp inventory. I have a giant stack of Stampin' Up! ones. I just need to scan in the front covers. It involves opening these and taking the little things out of the front plastic sheet. I've got a big stack of those to still do. I've got one paper tray ink stamp set. I'm going to see if I can find the swatch online and just print that one out. And then a bunch of miscellaneous SP and Company stamps in here. I'm just going to stamp these on like a couple of pages. I'm still going to actually physically stamp those. And then I have all of my Project Life alphabet type stamps and also all my planner stamps. So I'm getting my way through. I've got the binder here. It's just something I picked up from Michael's a long time ago. I've got tons of stamps, actually stamped. Nothing's organized, but they're stamped in here. And I did a couple of things to get this done. So for the most part, I just totally scanned in with the sheet because I realized how daunting of a project this was going to be. So I scanned in the packaging. I scanned in the bigger sets. And then on my computer, I printed them two on one page. So I've got a couple of pages like that. And then I physically had to stamp some of my Greeting Farm stamps. That one I accidentally dropped. And <laughs> so it's kind of, kind of wonky. So I stamped my ones I had to physically stamp. I scanned in the sheets. And then there are a few that I scanned in um, two different ways. So I scanned in, if I had a bunch, I just scanned them in and then printed two on a page so that I could have them smaller like these guys, they're smaller. And then I ended up scanning in the last few. I had like three more and this is a specific Christmas page. So I had one I had to stamp and then three I could scan in. And then same with this, they had three miscellaneous ones left after I had done the big sheets. And then I just stamped one other one on there. And then I also just scanned in everything that I could scan in. I've got one thing that I did, if I have matching dies for things, I put a D on there with some Stampin' Up! ink. This is just Coastal Cabana ink. And then this is an L Studio Alpha Set, Stanley's Alphabet stamp set. So I just use the D for die cut so that I know which sets I have die cuts for because some of these little sets, I don't remember which ones I have. And then since these were both love themed things, I went ahead and stuck them on the same page. But some of these were like food related, um, Christmas, they didn't kind of go together. So I didn't put them on the same page. But when they did line up, like I'll do fall and Halloween stuff together since pumpkins can go for either holiday. And then I had one miscellaneous stamp there. I had more room here, but I wanted to keep all the people together. And then I'll have like a section of animals or something as well. So like that'll be an animal thing. So none of these are in their actual categories. They're just actually physically scanned in or stamped. And there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot more than I had anticipated. It's getting thick pretty quickly. <laughs> you can see I used the Nina paper and then I had also used just the regular printer paper that I got. So there's two different colors of paper, which um, may bug me, but not bug me enough to redo anything. <laughs> I'm not redoing it. And so today I was actually in here working on it while Olivia was playing art. And then I wanted to go ahead and make some dividers. I'm just gonna make them. I thought about using the Silhouette Cameo to make like one piece, but then I would have to use an entire sheet of paper to make one divider. Whereas this, I can use two pages, just cut it in half and save myself some waste. So I decided to do that and I'm going to just adhere on a little tab. I didn't know exactly what sections I'm going to make. I'm definitely going to have a Christmas section, a fall section. We'll be including Halloween. I'll do a love section, um, maybe a spring section because I do have some Easter type things like there's an Easter set there. Um, I don't know, winter for sure because I have a lot. I'll do a section for people and it'll just be like this will be all people, not just Easter. So I have the Easter one on there and then regular things. So I don't know how specific down I'm going to get for things, um, but I definitely want a section for people, a section for critters, uh, probably a section for birthdays, but then like the birthday stuff and the people stuff fall in to different. And then there are some critters for birthdays. So I don't know how I'm going to divide it out exactly. I'm not going to duplicate, like I'm not going to have 
um, like this in people and critters. You can see it's like, it's gonna go in one category. So that part might be a little fuzzy. I might just do like a people and critters and have the people in the front, critters in the back. I don't know, florals will be another thing because I do have some florals. Not a whole lot. Am I gonna have a section for rainbows? I don't know. Definitely a section for sentiments, that's right. Sentiments for sure. And then that'll go under love because it's got love themed things in it. Love themed. So I don't know, I don't know if I'll have a specific section for critters, so we'll see. And then to make it even more complicated, I might just have a miscellaneous section because I just saw one and then it flipped through. Um, I actually have these design team sampler sets from Lawn Fawn, and it's just a mixture of things on the stamp set. Now I can't even find where I was. There's too many stamps. My husband came in actually, there, there's one. So there's one, it's got a mixture of things. So there's like some fall themes, some creatures, sunflowers, alphas. So those will have to go completely in a separate miscellaneous category because I will have some miscellaneous stuff. But yeah, categories are gonna need work. There's another one of those design team sets. They're just demo sets. So it mixes a bunch of different stamp sets in with one little four by six stamp set. So my, back to what I was saying before I found this, my husband came in while we were in here and she's playing and talking to me and I'm working on this here and there. And he's like, is this more of a collector's thing? Are you just trying to collect them all or are you actually stamping and making cards with them? Cause he saw the big stack building up and he's totally right. It's definitely a collector's thing and it's also a scrapbook thing and stampy thing. So I'm definitely, definitely looking at all these thinking, man, I really need to get making more cards and things and using some of these because they're so cute. I love them so much and they bring me great joy, but I've not actually been making cards even though I said I was gonna make one a week. Things just totally flew off the rails. So I have a plan for coming up in April for yeah, getting really into the habit of coming in here and scrapbooking every day. So that's gonna be something I'm gonna work on for an April challenge, which I'll talk about closer to April, but I wanted to show you guys how I was setting this up. So I'm going to go ahead and punch some of these and unfortunately, I just have one of these little shapes. They're from a Spellbinders mix set. It's the one I decided to use so I could have like lots of tabs. I've got 10 of these cut and punched and I'm going to just go ahead and make 10 of these and I'll do probably five down the row and then repeat and I'll make as many as I need. I can have as many categories as I want. I don't know if I'm gonna label them yet because I'm not sure about how I'm gonna categorize everything and like which categories I want at the beginning, but I wanna go ahead and make them and get them ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a couple of these on my big shot. All right, 10 of those are made. I thought about scoring them so I could get them folded perfectly. We'll see if I can line it up for that. If that would make it really convenient. Oh, I also wanted to mention, so I did print a ton, you guys can see. This was a bunch, a bunch of printing, and it was all just black and white, so I did use the black ink, and I barely used any of the black ink. I'll show you the line on the printer. It is an eco tank, so it's supposed to be more efficient for printing, since you don't have to buy cartridges. Let's see, oh, see, it doesn't quite line up. I'll have to actually physically, like, hold it and line it up. But that's the plan here, to score these things. I can actually fold them properly. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I do like the two-tone color here. The little tabs sticking out. See, I think that's really cute. Okay, I think I am gonna keep with this. I just like the color combo and I think I'm going with it. It's gonna be really tiny to write on, however. So yeah, I do, I do like how they look. And of course, even if they are perfectly even because of the way the rings work, they won't always look even anyway. So I think that's gonna be okay. I didn't even think about that until I stuck them in and then they're, you know, they're moving different directions and things. So I think it will work. So the question is, what categories do I do? We're on spring break right now. So that's gonna be it for this video. I've got the tabs started. I've got a few more tabs and dividers I can work on, but that gives me the first little seven done. And 
then I showed you guys all my progress in here, which I've made quite a bit of progress. I still have more stamps to work on. So as she plays art during nap times, and um, Stelly's been sleeping late since the time changed. So she's back to sleeping late again, which is great. So we have some time in the morning, just big kid and me. And we come in here a lot of mornings. So I've just been working on this slowly but surely. And uh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know if you have stamp inventory and how it's going for you. I'll be back soon with more stamp inventory because that's all I'm working on lately. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.